Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dime Mod as we go through our guides of every faction. The last good faction and the sub-faction of Gondor, Arnor. We can only play as when you play on an Arnor map. This time we're going to go for a slightly different strategy to what we're used to with Gondor. And for a slightly different strategy what I'm used to using as Arnor actually. We're going to start with the barracks as always but we're not going to build an archery range. And now we're not going to build ranger tents. We're going to build farms. That's right, we're going for a cav build, everybody. Get ready for a bit of uh, shenanigans. Let's get ourselves coffee in while we're at it. Build another farm. And then take this summon over here and get rid of that uh, annoying little goblin cave there too. Bit of extra money. Start with the workers' tools. And yet the point of going for the, the, the farms is because our cavalry is actually really good. I've not given Arnor, um, or at least any faction with cavalry that I don't normally use, such as uh, Gondor and such and Arnor, um, uh, enough um, benefit of the doubt for their early tier cavalry. They're actually really good. Late tier cavalry, I feel like, is a bit um, much. Too expensive, not really enough value get, uh, gained. But um, early game, cavalry, really good. Can clean out each equipment very nicely. Can cut through anything that isn't a pike, which in Mordor's case is almost every unit. And pikes aren't typically used by Mordor. And even if they do, they're not that good. I'm going to try and mix it up with Arafant, who can buff a certain one of the basic Arnor units, which is a swordsman, the pikemen, the archers, and the knights. And today we're going to go for the buffs for the knights. And Karthian, because you're not being very useful right now, step back and just. Attack with something else instead. Attack with your bow. You seem to do a little bit better with your bow. So going for cav discounts. One of the only factions that does get cav discounts is Gondor. Gondor and Arnor and Rivendell are the only factions that get discounts for their cavalry. Technically, uh, Mirkwood, you can discount them by getting the uh, troop chambers. But that's not specific for cavalry, so I'm not going to include it in this. I'm going to go full forged workers and settlers tools. And obviously, unlike we've done with the dwarves, we've already um, gone past our supply routes of five, and because we've, we've got seven resource buildings, soon to be increased even further. But we shall get to that soon enough. And Arnold Knights typically eight hundred are now currently six hundred, eight hundred, six six hundred eighty, six hundred eight hundred. <laughs> oh. So we're gonna get some Arnold Knights. I'm gonna make the very good use of them. Let's see if we can get an early outpost, which I don't think we can do because trolls inhabit these areas. But with Carthian around, that should be fine. With Carthian sitting around getting ki uh, kills on trolls and bringing the knights to kill off the rest, it should work. Yeah, these orcs have been here for a while. I don't like it. They've been here too long. We will build the archer range eventually, but I want to get Arafant first. And then eventually we'll get Arvidui, um, Ar Arafant... Um, Arvidui is uh, our ring, one of our ring heroes over there, counts as Boromir. We do want Malbeth too. He gives us um, lots of resources for a short time, which could be valuable. Um, taxes affects regular infantry. That does not affect cavalry, unfortunately, so we can't get discounts for our cavalry even further. But I will send them out. This evil place shall be unmade. Quite a nice run. I was just saying how good you are. Come on, I don't prove me wrong. Armor against sword and arrows, but loss of speed reduction. Best when used in a attack position. Gondor's formation, or Gondor and Arnold's formations, are best used when in melee combat. When you know you're going to be sitting around for a long time. If you're going to be going hit and run techniques or just attacking the building, then you don't really need them. I see no annoying things here, so we'll go into that formation. Crunch them down. Let's get our hero, Arafant. Um, got really good resources. Really, really good resources. Build another farm, so we've got even cheaper knights. You come out of your formation. You can come out of your formation. I might even go for the formation power. It's not a bad power. I've slowly become more um, liking of that power. 
It's not the best. I still feel like they could have thought of something better to put in that um, in there, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So, Arafant, I want you to boost our knights. All knights of Arnor, map Y, get damage. You can just do it to any of them. It's just damage for all around. I want to do it for my knights, though, because I want them to do some really good charges. Unfortunately, Arafant can't ride a horse. Or can he? No, he can. He can ride a horse at level 3. Okay, those are pikes. I don't want my cavalry charging into that. That would be um, suicide. Um, let's get our... Um, the Aranar, that's it. Get Aranar. And another unit of knights. Early archers are good, but not necessary. I found for Arnor, Dunedain are good, as well as they are as good for Ingondor. But cavalry seems to be even better right now. Cavalry is in a much better spot than uh, archers. And since we're not using our cavalry for anything right now, let's improve our swordsmen to do even more damage. You just sit back for now, my friends. There we go, we have Aranar. Gonna make him the heir of the king, put him on his horse, and have him join with the cavalry. That way we can better protect our buildings. We do eventually want to go also go for iron ore to get the upgrades from our blacksmith, but no rush, no rush. Income always comes first. Income must always come first. A nice slow start is not a bad thing. Oh, there's a settlement there. I completely forgot about that. Carpe and move faster, please. Everyone move up. Uh, farm, please. Thank you. We could build a um, somewhere to get some linen archers, but uh, uh, it's not a bad building. Don't get me wrong. It's not a bad building to have Kurdan and such and get some elite archers. But that's the thing. They're elite archers. Or you're getting a unit that... Um, oh, oh, I see a Nazgul. I see orcs. They're coming straight from my base. I don't like that. Let's deal with it. That's right. Charge right through them. Charging doesn't work well for cave trolls anymore, unfortunately. They just like hitting things. Hey, stop attacking my fortress. Uh, it's going to upgrade this as well so we can get things critted faster. And I'm going to upgrade this so we can go for palace guards. Palace guards are better than Dunedain soldiers all day, every day. All day, every day. Get the outpost here. You can now pay for a double pantry. Why is it they all get come all first? There we go. Good boy. Okay. Put a well back here for our cavalry to keep coming back to to heal. For our infantry, it doesn't matter as much. Keep Aaron off back here so we can deal with that. And these knights can stay here too because they're still full health and such. Oh, they've summoned... You can now ride your horse, Arafant. I think I won't for now. I think I'll bear it in the front line right now. Do not fear them. My arrows will fly true. Um, I will build a siege works, and I will build a keep. My skill will be seen by all. Yeah, outpost not as good for um, not not as good for Gondor as they are for the dwarves, but that but that's the that's the um, expected. That is to be expected. I see no I see no pikemen there. Oh, I'll use it too slow. We have power points. Let's use some of them, shall we? They've entered the base. They have Sauron. And I'm going to build a battle tower over here. Goodbye, annoying Nazgul. Moving Aranar. Move fast, move far, move true. 
Oh, sound that damage of yours is not to be underestimated, is it? Just keep playing, placing tents with Karthian so we have vision of everywhere. Start getting some palace guards. Keep up the attack. Keep up the attack. We must take the fight. Copying into melee. Help our fans. Poor old man's getting a bit wounded in the front line here. Although he is slaying. Jeez, he's good. He's doing, he's doing the Lord's work right there. Trample through him. Just, just these these units more resistance to things. I think. I'm I'm not certain. I'm not paying attention right now. <laughs> it's very hard to pay attention right now. Let's close these gates now. Our fight move back. Cavalry move back for a second. Close those gates. Get me the hero. We all know and love the kit last king of Arnor. I'm sorry, Mathis, are you trying to do something? You failed. Ha 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 ha. Can he survive? Oh, I don't think he will. Unless 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 that red aura is just um because he got hit by something, then we should be fine. If it's because he's poisoned or something, he's dead. He's still alive. Okay, we're good. It was just the black arrows of the uh, black horrocks. Got a possum gate here. Oh, I'm glad I moved in back when I did. That was a Nazgul right there. That was a Gothmog right there. How are we still alive? Can I get him out? Can I get him out? Can I get... Oh! No. I just gave the unit a lot of experience. They have not built many uh, pikemen, have they? That is their biggest mistake yet, not building cavalry against me. Not cavalry, pikemen, because of all our cavalry. Uh, let's finally get iron ore. In fact, no, first Grand Harvest. This is another reason why farms are actually really good now, because they get the bonus where the range of, farm, the range of tents don't. And coffee. Uh, coffee's not a big deal. He's not a big deal. He can just get brought back for less than 200 or something. Oh, hello, Gorbag. Prepare to die. There's a King of Arnor right in front of you. You're not going to survive this one, mate. Let's get Bloodline of Numenor. Now we don't actually need the um, healing of the well. Because we just get self-healing. See how that well can now go. I'll build another blacksmith or something. I see no pikemen. Go in. Oh, but they've now got siege equipment. Oh, dear. Get a trebuchet there just so I can protect myself a bit more. But if I don't see it in time. And our cavalry isn't around. We will need it. I think I'm re re recruiting Arafants. I should be, right? Yeah. I'll put him with our um, cavalry next. Level up the um, stables again so we can get our cav the shields. Oh, I wish I kept that well now. <laughs> okay, Arafant. Join with our cav. We have to sit back there, keep out of the way. They're going to die to other things. It's not important. Our farm is still alive. We haven't got tier 2 um, settlers tools yet. Bit of a point I haven't done that yet. Let's go. Let's do that now. Yep, banner carriers, the healing and such. All good. All good. 
And it's also going nowhere. Leave them alone. Just sit in the center. We have one archer on it, so. <laughs> How is he still alive? Okay, shields. Increases armor against swordsmen and damage against arrows is reduced by 50%. That's good. We have a lot of units that are just single entities. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, catapult. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, no, go. Get gone. Get lost. Don't come back. Not dealing with that nonsense. No, 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 no. For the iron already, we do need those upgrades now. Um, build the lone tower here to protect this because there's a pikeman. The first unit of pikeman I've seen all day. No! Okay, now do it. No, don't. You deal with that because those are archers. Archers are useless. Um, I've got iron ore yet. No. We're still going to set those tools. Okay. Okay. Um, we weathered the storm. I think we weathered the storm. Let's get Malbeth. Oh, there's a pikeman. No, 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 no. Get rid of those pikemen first, please. Gotta run past them to get those archers. Ooh. Careful, my lord. Careful. Oh, troll, no. Oh, battering man, that's even worse. That's worse than the troll. Malbeth has arrived. He knows what is best. Walk away, that's a goth mog. I think I got rid of the battering ram, so walk away, please. Cavalry, you're getting stun locked. Useless. Ah. Okay, Troll's dead. That's fine. Trolls are the bane of cavalry. I don't, I don't know what, why they still have the knockback. Why the, why the Trolls have knockback on cavalry. That is... I mean, yes, it makes sense, but it shouldn't be so, uh, a constant knockback. It just ruins cavalry. And they're the most expensive units in the game. In most cases. And there goes all my cav. Okay, let's just run away. Can't save that. Can't save that with my heroes. Gotta just run. Wait for the army, which is coming now. But Iron Ore yet is about to be ready. Get some more palace guards. Oh, that Nazgul died. Shadow Lord, I think, or Dark Marshal. There goes um, Master Sauron, and there goes Gothmog, and that's a drum patrol, and that's now dead. Oh, they just brought up a catapult just because they could have destroyed my they could have destroyed the outpost and me not notice this, but nope, they just decided to go. No, nope, let's destroy the enemy army instead. Okay, and yeah, this is kind of where the Arnor strategy um, kind of rolls back to what I normally do, which is. Uh, all palace guards, um, all heroes, all super elite things that are super hard to kill, etc, etc, etc. Fully armoured, upgraded, so on and so forth. Super strong, can't really be beaten, GG. That's how it's done. I would have, I would have um, typically done this against an, a, uh, an Angmar, but Angmar has recently become a lot stronger because they now know how to make siege equipment, which is perhaps one of the biggest problems with Arnor now because they are super strong. They spam armies to no end. And it is a bit um, a bit uh, salty having to deal with Arnor, uh, Angmar now. So the fun faction when you play as them, it's not fun to play against. Always try, need to find, try and find that little bit of balance. Get these upgrades. Uh, some more honor archers. I don't hate Doomsday Rangers. Get uh, let them just get made this um, clear. I know I'm not making them. I know I could make them. 
But um, what I've done for my little bit of testing with Loth Lorien, I've and other factions that go kind of heavy on archers, um, units, well, factions that have ar archers in large numbers in their units are better than units that don't have large numbers. I know that sounds a bit weird. Could you think, well, if well, there's less because they're more elite, right? Doesn't that not make really much of a difference? It actually does. That actually does make a difference now. If you have more elite cavalry on, if you have more elite um, archers, yes, they can be good. But having just archers that can do massive amounts of damage because there's so many of them, I think it's better than having archers that can do a lot of damage, um, but are only single entities. That, that's why I should prefer Dunedain units to um, the Rivendell archers. And why I don't like the Guardians of Karas Galathon at all. They are... Oh, I, I honestly think they are one of the worst units in the game. For their tier. Granted, they'll beat almost any other archer unit in a 1v1 duel. But in largest archers, they'll lose two. Linden Guardians, they'll lose two. Dunedain Rangers, they'll lose two. There's a lot of... Um, small intricate things that, they, that the dying teams have added in that actually make going for certain units a bad thing and let's give Arafan the boost to cavalry because that's my only basic unit i've now got on mass other than archers but archers don't need the extra damage not right now anyway i do need fire arrows though so they actually, actually deal with their true damage But yeah, Arnor is the faction that never actually needs a well because of the blue line of Numenor. You just get another resource building. Another, yeah, just another resource building instead. Super effective. Very efficient. Put another tower right here. Apart from you haven't placed a tent recently. Let's put a tent over here so we can have full view of the track so I don't miss a potential siege unit just walking past. Uh, no, they're, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Speaking of things going somewhere, though. That's a catapult. Get rid of it. That was a troll. Focus that. And look at that, though. Look at how that th those archers chunk that troll. That's because, they, that's because there's more of them. Not because they're better, but because there's more of them. Quantity is so much better than quality with archers right now. Honestly, I think Mortal Orc Archers with Fire Arrows may be one of the best Archers in the game. <laughs> I wish I could joke about that as well, but I really can't. They really are one of the best Archer units right now, Mortal Orc Archers. I just don't use them because they're expensive. I say expensive. They're, they're more expensive than Mortal Orcs, which are free. So that's why I don't typically use them. But yeah, get those fire arrows ready. Aranoff will soon be his full um, king, well, uh, era apparent phase, which will make him even stronger and more um, effective in helping his heroes. We do need some siege equipment though, because we're coming up to the enemy base and we have nothing that can do anything to them. Deal with them. Oh yeah, Mal, I should use you more. Um, there's a storm coming. Protect your children. Also, look at that harass. That's some big boy damage right there. Yeah, look at that though. Cavalry do... Um, are the worst against trolls. They really are the worst. I think that's the only time I would permit using um, uh, Archer Cav is against trolls. Because they just don't... They struggle against... Um, cavalry, uh, cavalry struggles against trolls so much. We've now got the Army of Gondor, which we'll call upon soon enough. Get our fire arrows and some more archers while we're at it. Because we've got the command points for them now. Get rid of those. Come on. Trample. 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 There we go. Definitely Gondor and Arnor Knights aren't the best at trampling. 
which does put them a little bit lower on the list of my uh, favourites or, be or, or considered best um, Cav. But they do still have their purpose. They, so they still serve many purposes. And they do them very well. Everyone come together over here. Uh, let's get some trebuchets. I'm prepared to destroy the enemy base. I'm still going to season those fire arrows. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that too. Go full trebuchet and oh fuck! I didn't mean to do, didn't didn't want to do that. I, I misclicked, misclicked, and I destroyed, got rid of my um, got, I got rid of the recruitment instead of uh, getting more. Whoopsie. Aaron, I command the ta uh, building to be fully repaired. Ah, uh -uh, screw you! You've got a second rebuild now. And again, ha ha ha. Uh, any more heroes we can get? We're going to get Kurdan and Gandalf. That's right. Get Kurdan now. I do not know why he is cheaper. Is he considered an elite? <laughs> is he considered elite for the purpose of, uh, purposes of um, discounts? That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. He's considered a, uh, a, a unit that gets discounted from townhouses. Discounting units. But now I think about it, 400, how much is this, okay, that's right, yeah, they, they are counted as units for townhouse discounts. For some reason I was thinking they weren't counted as the discount units. I don't know why, it felt weird. First seconds all leaderships on the map are deactivated, that doesn't do well for us because we've actually got good leaderships right now. Give something heavy armour. I think that's what it is. Gives heavy armor and forged blades, yeah. Call upon the army of Gondor. Mm. That was that didn't feel right. <laughs> kind of kind of went a bit droning there. Get rid of that fortress, please. Why are we here? Can I ask myself? I ask myself that uh, every Saturday. <laughs> This is why Karkin cannot fight in melee. He's too fragile. Most fragile human ever. More fragile than Pippin even. Because at least Pippin can get a, an ability that makes him super tanky. Should I use, actually use Aena? Yeah, it makes enemy units flee in terror. Nothing too special. And yep, that's all of Arnor. Very similar to power players Gondor. But slightly different in the fact I didn't go for rangers this time. I went for the palace guards and the knights. But yeah, you can also get the Rivendell encampment to get Glorfindel and Glorfindel's Wind Riders, but they're not as good as the Dol Amroth units because you don't get a foot troop with them um, in Lardris. I think if they gave them one foot troop, that would make um, the Imlardris stronghold a bit more, um, a bit more picked. But right now, it does feel like it's one of the worst um, things to go for. The Eremith from Bastion uh, doesn't normally feel good. Going for um, Dol Amroth. Or uh, enlarges doesn't seem too good when you're playing as Gondor or Arnor. Um, Isengard, you can go for the uh, the thing, Steel Mason, whatever it's called, but it doesn't do as well as the um, just going for an outpost and getting more things. Yeah, it generates a lot of money and gives you extra bonuses in the late game, but it is a, a late game only building because you need all your upgrades. We'll get into that in the Isengard video. So you've all enjoyed another. Not quick, but definitely effective video. Showing you how to play as Arnor. Always, always go for the elites of, with Arnor. Arnor are basically a second version of the elite faction. In fact, Arnor were the first elite faction because they're the first faction to have elves. They had, um, yeah, they had the Linden units and the Enlarges units before anyone else. And then when Lothlorien came in, they became the quintessential elite faction. And Enlarges came in, they're, they're now the elite faction. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, next we have Isengard, Mordor, and then finally Angmar um, on its way before Christmas Day. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.